Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Breakstar, your home for vintage Lego. I'm not going to be talking much about the pirate sets, the uh, El Dorado fortresses that we have back there in the background. I did finish building the new one, and I thoroughly enjoyed the build. And it's one of those things where there's so many details. And, you know, I built the old one just recently. You know, we bought it and we built it. I just, I've built it in the past when I owned it before and then I sold it. But anyway, I wanted to build it and then build this one and just like, so I could, as I'm building it, the new one, I can think about things, you know, related uh, to the old one. And I could see all the throwbacks to the original one. Uh, but then there's so many details, and this is not a bad thing. <laughs> there's so many details that when you put it together, like when it's in the square, because you can rearrange the plates, it's like everything's hidden. <laughs> not everything. A lot of things are hidden. So I, I got to think about it if I want to do, I mean, I do want to do a video talking about both of them in more detail. So I just got to get my mind in the right frame of mind. Uh, I'm in more of a Jack Stone frame of mind. So got my my box of jack stone and uh, four juniors whatever they call it uh back then things oh we uh, they might be bricks also built the uh airplane and the indiana jones car we st we watched uh well we watched mission impossible the first one and then we started watching uh this while we were built finishing building i was finishing building that and he built that and then we watched um the first part of the third indiana jones movie we only got halfway through it then we went to bed Way too much information, I guess, you know, but it, we stayed up late. I wanted to finish uh, the build of that, and that was last night. And then this is the next day after work is when I'm filming this. So I got some packages here that should help me get completed on my Jack Stone. But first we'll open this one from Cat's Cash. So I miscalculated on some of the parts I needed for the snowblower. And so I wanted to find a seller in the U.S. that had the part, which were these wheels. I actually only needed five, but I bought, I bought all that she had. These were a dollar each. So the part ain't cheap um, for that part. But I'm sitting this over here where the, um, the parts are for the um, snowblowers. And then I got some more blue rails. You've never seen those in a haul before. And look, another tipper. So thank you, Cat's Cash. It was actually quite fast for her to to, to send that. All right, so the rest of these should have Jack Stone related items plus other minor things as we go through here. All right, there's the Jack Stone characters. And these are the extra parts I got, four by 10 plates, a piece of track, <laughs> and some seaweed. I, I can't remember, I'm, there's a set, I think it's one of the Star Wars sets. I think it's, there's a set that I'm missing the seaweed in green. And I can't remember which one it was, but, um, we got, oh look, coincidentally, uh, one of the pirates, one of the juniors pirates. Man, this is, ooh, that outfit. <laughs> and then one of the Jack Stone characters. And wait a minute, didn't I already get this guy? I, You know, I may have bought duplicates, I don't know. So there's three more Jack Stone characters there. And that was from Seth's Stud Shop. I did not buy any studs. Although somebody yesterday, I sold uh, one of the most useless parts that Lego has ever made, the one by one round stud in orange. Somebody bought all of them, 2, 000, over 2,000 orange studs. And I remember there was a thing at Philly Breakfast one year where you had to use the orange studs as part of a, a, a build and some challenge or something. And this is from the family warehouse, but yeah. So, so thank you, whoever it was that bought all of my orange studs. I didn't count them, so what I did is I went through my miscellaneous extra parts drawer. I went and looked for all the orange one by one studs and threw in there just in case, you know, we may miscounted on a. He probably got way more than what he ordered. And this thing is crammed in here tight. I don't know if I like this. I think I'd rather just have them like loosey goosey. So we, instead of boxers we got briefs here and uh, right. this is what is it? oh that's train track oh oh those what were those for that's for the train for the uh i think those i hope they're the right ones it's supposed to be the ones without 
yeah, without the groove at the top. And that's what these are. So these are for the uh, snow plow, I do believe. So I'm going to put those in the snow plow container. If they're not, I'll figure it out later. 12 volt connectors. I forgot what it is. These are old gray, not new gray here. And then what Jack Stone characters do we get from this store? This I went to the store just for the Jack Stone characters. We've got these two guys here. Or is that a girl? See, the, the helmet does not come off. That's pretty torturous. I don't know what that character is. Um, so we got that. And then the last one. Ah, you got that Jack Stone. That is actually Jack Stone. And then this other one. Another police guy. And then these are for... Yeah, those are for the... <laughs> Those are also for the snowplow. So I'm dump those in the snowplow container and put these over there. And that's Jackstone. It was almost, that's right, something was sticking in the bag here. Look what I bought. Anybody know what this is? It's like five cents of parts. That is a duck, I think. <laughs> Yeah, it's got the eyeball piece. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. I'm not going to open this. This is part of my sealed poly bag collection. I think that's a duck. <laughs> so I was going through my list of what I bought. And that's... Oh, man. this I hate this setup. Hold on. So basically, these two figures are about the same. Except one's got a star on his hat and he doesn't. When I look at what I ordered from one store, it's JS016, Jack Stone 016 is that number, and I wrote it. But I had this other figure from this other store, from, and it was supposed to be, oh, where is it? Oh, I also bought another JS016, but I got this one instead. Same figure, just doesn't have the star on his head. So I ended up buying two of the same figure but i got two different figures so that's not bad it's like i mean i my worry in placing these orders is that i would get sent the wrong figure and i did but the thing is i ordered two of the same figure and i got two different figures so that's actually better uh, for me except now i don't know <laughs> if i have all the figures because <laughs> i i don't remember ordering the same figure two different times but I definitely did um, let's see if there's 55 different figures here all right so there's eight on a row that's eight there 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 there's only seven on that row and then there's eight on that row so eight <coughs> what's eight times eight no eight times seven that's 56 minus one is 55 so that should be 55 figures, as long as none of them are the same one. So apparently I did order an extra of the one, but I ended up getting the wrong one. But I'm not mad because I don't care. Uh, I just wanted one different of every character ever made, and so we have it. And they don't look good in these bags. It's not good for you, but I needed for myself just to make sure I had 55. And so here's the impossible... This, this is useless information. All right, so there's 55 different Jack Stone figures. This arrangement of Jackstone figures in this order. Just going through all of them. This arrangement of Jackstone figures in this order has never existed in the history of humanity. Or actually, well, in the history of since Jackstone was made. So this is 55. There's there's 55. And just to put them in a row, just like, with like you're number one. JS24, you're number one. JS28, you're number two. It's like if you just numbered them, one to 55. Uh, this little pirate guy, you're number 55. That's never happened, and it'll never be repeated, other than if somebody watched this video and put them in that order. <laughs> the randomness of it. So that's 55 factorial. 
That's more than the particles on this planet. <laughs> I'm talking the not, I'm not talking about the atoms. I'm talking about the particles and quarks that make up the protons. It's more than that. Okay? It's not more than what's in the universe, but it's more than what's on this planet. So this arrangement of jackstone figures has never occurred. And the only way it will ever occur again is if somebody watches the video and puts them in that order. I could never, ever randomly do it again, and you would never do it again. And you're saying, well, there's not a, it's not a 0% chance. It's close enough to zero. Uh, big numbers are, are hard for people to understand. I don't even understand them. But, um, yeah, arrange your jackstone figure collection in a particular order, and I'll never match it. That's my challenge. Okay, I, I, I had to go ahead and do it. I'm back. So I have put all the jackstone figures on this base plate. And they are in a different order. I threw them all in the container and I was like, I got to do this. So I took them all their little bags. Now the bags are all, I don't know which bag goes to which figure. But they are in a different arrangement, I can guarantee you, <laughs> than the uh, previous video. And I can guarantee you that this arrangement of jackstone figures has never existed in this order. We start at the front and go across. I cannot zoom. It's like the figures in the back are clear. Let me try something. Okay, that works. Just going to look at all these guys. There's 55 of them, and some of them are girls. And not all of them were in the Jack Stone theme. Some of them were in the Junior's theme, Creator theme, the... For Junior's Pirates theme and things like that. Near the Pirates. Oh, those are so creepy looking. <sighs> That's Peter Parker right there. <sighs> Hello, Captain. That's brick. That's brick right there. Uh oh, just knocked one of them over. There's one of those creepy creator girls. Doc Ock on that end. And the only one I consciously decided to put where he is is the big Doc Ock, which is the same as that one, except he's got his arms. I put him there, and a couple of these guys fell over. Just put them back where they were. Where were you? <laughs> All right, whoops. So if I was to I'll take these off again and not look at the video and try to set them back on the board, I would never get them in this order again. And if anybody disagrees with me, you are wrong. The only way that you could put these in this order is to watch the video and take an intelligent, conscious effort to put them all in the same order. And I'm not talking about even if they're the same studs apart. I'm talking about Octan one, this guy number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You, you will never, nobody could ever do that without looking. So, they should do the random test at like a convention, like put these in an order and see if anybody could put them in the same order. It's like you put them in, like just have them in a the thing, you set them in an order, take a picture of it, and somebody else do it and see if they could get them in the same order. It will never. I can confidently say that. It's like you're try, trying to get the, uh, the, the the college basketball bracket. You got more of a chance of getting that right than getting this right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's uh, the impossible Jack Stone challenge. You will never, not even Sands. When you get all of yours, you'll never put them in this order unless you watch my video and put them in this order. Probably more importantly, nobody really cares. I, I do. I like big numbers. <laughs>